The blazing summer heat is here, and with it, the threat of skin cancer. 7,000 people will die from it this year alone. But doctors say it does remain one of the most preventable cancers. News Channel 5's Roxanne Stein shows you how not to get burned. <laughs> Whether it's catching a wave or taking a dip, working outside or working out, we're exposing ourselves to a killer every single day. It all started when I saw a mole in my leg. Grant Gussing is one of 53,000 men and women who will be diagnosed with melanoma this year. It started out like this on his leg. Would you know what to look for? Check out your moles for the A, B, C, and Ds of melanoma. First, is your mole asymmetric with one side bigger than the other? Check the border for jagged edges. Then move on to the color. Does the mole have different colors, and is it larger than 6 millimeters in diameter? If you answered yes to any of these, see a doctor. And even if you don't have issues now, protect yourself before you head outside. With sunscreen, it is not all about the SPF. In fact, those high SPF products can be really misleading. Jane Houlihan of the Environmental Working Group says any SPF over 30 gives only a few more percentage points worth of protection. And never, ever wear anything under SPF 15. But it doesn't tell you about the other side of sun radiation, what's called UVA radiation. And that's linked to skin damage and aging and cancer, too. Each year, the EWG releases its list of the 1,800 best and worst sunscreens. Topping the list? Loving Natural Sunscreen, SPF 30+. Plus. California Baby Sunblock Stick, SPF 30+. Plus. Heiko Kids, 40 SPF. Also, grab sunblock with zinc. You want to look for sunscreens without oxybenzone. That's a chemical that acts like hormones, and it might be harmful to your health. It absorbs through the skin. When it comes to your eyes, not all sunglasses are created equal. In fact, cheap sunglasses could hurt your vision. Most generic shades only stop the visible spectrum rays of the sun or those painful to look at. Be sure to look for UVA and UVB protection. As for Grant, he beat his battle with the sun. I'm good to go, 100%. In hopes that you won't let the sun get the best of you. The Environmental Working Group found that two out of five brand name sunscreens either don't protect skin from sun damage or contain hazardous chemicals or both. If you'd like more information, go to WPTV.com and click on the Scene on 5 tab. Roxanne Stein, WPTV News Channel 5.